collectors and gift givers. Today, we are taking a look at items from Azusa Barbie. I'm talking handmade 1 6 scale doll sized accessories. I had a little shopping spree on Etsy before they moved to Shopify, but it looks like the items are pretty much the same with the same prices. It came in a cute little pink box with really cool tape. Shipping was pretty fast. I'm just kind of slow at getting to things. Aw, there's a little thank you card. Okay, so a lot of time was put into the packaging. Totally appreciating that. We can find Azusa Barbie on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I am loving all this pink. <gasps> so many goodies in here today. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's change our backdrop. This is one of my more recent builds from a Versus, and I'm kind of obsessed with it at the moment. Like this packaging. This is miniature makeup, lipstick, and lip gloss with holder. I paid $27. It came in this really cool black case, which kind of prevents it from moving around too much while being shipped. The holder is clear. We have five different lipsticks in the front and five lip glosses in the back. We can remove the lipstick and the little tubes of lip gloss. They are black with gold details, and I think they are going to look great in the dollhouse. Oh yeah, I could totally use these. This is the Barbie Clear tote bag with accessories for $24.99. The bag is clear with the Chanel logo on the front. Inside, we have a white Chanel book. It is made for display. The box for Chanel number no. 5 and a little black comb. I think that's a pretty cute accessory for the doll on the go. Now this box of Chanel number no. 5 is empty, so I also picked up this set for $14.99. It's a miniature perfume bottle with a box. Look at this case, definitely not lacking in presentation. The bottle of perfume is nice and solid. You can see number no. 5 Chanel on the front. And I think it can actually fit in the little box. <gasps> it can! Very cute. Loving those little details. I definitely want to display this in my little room. I also picked up a set of combs. These are priced at $5.99 on their website. There are three different combs in this set. This one is similar to the one in the Chanel bag. Then there's a little fine tooth comb and a pick. I think this is pretty cool. We could just lay them all on the bed and pretend our dolls are doing like a hair day. This is the miniature dog tag necklace priced at $12.99. Comes on a pretty cool little display here. It feels like a heavyweight paperboard, maybe a chipboard. The necklace is gold colored. It has two little dog tags hanging at the bottom, one with the Chanel logo and the other with Chanel written out. The dog tags are gold on one side and black on the other. The necklace opens with a lobster clasp so we can place it on our dolls for a nice look. Chanel necklace, Chanel bag. Look at me, Ma. I'm stylish. This is a necklace display stand. It was $5.99. It's nice and shiny. It has a base so it can stand on its own. We can place the necklace on it and that is going to look so fancy. We could place it on a vanity or maybe in a doll shop or even the ultimate doll closet. We have some nice clean lines here. Very nice. I'm loving all of these different ways to display the miniatures. We could make a really cute little boutique. Speaking of displays, for $15.99, I bought Barbie jewelry display with bracelets for fashion dolls. It comes with rubber bands holding the bracelets in place. Trying to remove them without dropping all the bracelets. The stand is also black and shiny. 
looks pretty good. Those bracelets are such a fun touch. They are easy to put on dolls with removable hands, like Integrity Toys, and it goes perfectly with the necklace holder. For $20, I bought a set of 10 hangers. They are black and gold and can swing around on the hook. There's a bar going across the bottom so we can hang pants. They are pretty wide, so I have no problem hanging outfits with like spaghetti straps, like this top from Fancy Doll Design. The hangers measure a little over three inches wide. All 10 look pretty consistent, so we will be able to make a nice, neat little closet. Wow, that's like a lot of hangers. I am definitely spoiling Mini Toya. My real closet is nowhere near this coordinated with matching hangers. Do not tell my mother. No wire hangers! Just joking, my mom is like the sweetest person ever. Love you, mom. I think these hangers are definitely going to level up my closet game. And because I can't resist a good backpack, I picked up this Louis Vuitton inspired backpack for $40.99. It's brown, has a checker pattern at the bottom, little gold details. Look at the little tips right there. That's cute. This backpack looks glued together. It is very neat in my opinion. It has two little straps and a handle. My doll can wear it on one shoulder or on both. Mini Toya is rocking all of this designer inspired fashion. And there is more than just fashion. There is also home decor. For $35, I picked up this acrylic coffee table. It comes in three pieces. The bottom of the table just kind of fits together. Then just set the clear acrylic top on top. To get a nice modern looking table. I think this looks pretty cool. I like the idea of being able to take it apart for easy storage. And it matches all of our other little fun finds today. It goes well with the other pieces, so everything is very cohesive. Overall, I am very happy with my purchase. It is so much fun finding designer items in miniature. Everything has been very neat, and it just looks so luxurious. I will definitely be keeping an eye out for more goodies in the future. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at items from Azusa Barbie. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.